Um, so this is just going to be a quick little dorm slash apartment tour of the promontory housing at CSU Monterey Bay. Um, when I was registering for housing before I came here, I really wanted to live in promontory, but it was so hard to find videos or pictures of what the apartments actually looked like. So now that I live here, I thought it would be good to just record a little video for anyone that was interested. So this is the kitchen. It has an oven, a stove, microwave, refrigerator, freezer, sink, dishwasher, and cabinet space. Um, our apartment is a little bit different because there are only two people in our entire apartment. It's just two singles, me and my roommate. So our kitchen is a little bit smaller than some of the other apartments. I know they have much larger kitchens and a little bit more cabinet space because there are more residents in them. The kitchen comes with a trash can and a recycling bin, but other than that, you're pretty much on your own. This is the closet where the washer and dryer are. The dryer is on the top and the washer is on the bottom. Our apartment, like I said, is a little different than some of the other ones. So ours just has a bar where some of the apartments with more people living in them have a small dining area and an actual dining table. But since there are only two of us, we just have a bar with two stools. This is the living room. It comes with a large sofa, a small sofa, a coffee table, a TV stand, and another random table. The apartments don't come with TVs, so if you want one, you have to bring your own from home. Um, but there is a cable connection where you can watch live TV if you do end up bringing one. This is the heater. The bedrooms each have their own individual heaters as well. There is no AC in the promontory apartments since it doesn't really get that hot in Monterey. So yeah, um, this is my roommate's bedroom over here. And next up is my bedroom, which is what we're going to get into right now. So my room is a single. Um, that means there's just one me and one of everything in here. A lot of the doubles, which there are a lot more of in the building, have bunk beds and two of everything that housing provides. Um, housing provides the bed frame, a mattress. Um, if you want a mattress pad, you have to bring your own. It comes with a night table and also a desk and a small lamp. The desk does have a small ledge underneath it, so I just keep my printer and my books on top of that if you need a little extra space. Um, I have lights everywhere because there's no overhead lighting in the bedrooms in Promontory. So if you're like me and you like lots of lights, make sure you bring some with you because Prom only provides a small lamp and it can get pretty gloomy and cloudy in Monterey. So if you like to have lights in your bedroom, bring some with you because the rooms can get kind of dark. Um, there's no cable connection for TVs inside the actual bedrooms, but if you do want to bring a TV, you can bring like an Apple TV like I do or a Roku or like an Amazon Fire Stick because there's Wi-Fi. So if you want to bring a TV for your bedroom, um, just make sure you bring something like that. This is the small lamp that I was talking about earlier. This is the only lighting that is already included in the bedrooms when you move in. Like I mentioned earlier, there's no air conditioning in this building, so even though it doesn't get that hot here, there definitely are a few warm days, and it can get pretty warm in the apartment, so if you want to bring a fan, I would definitely do that. Some of the bedrooms have a sliding door closet in the actual bedroom itself, but some of the other bedrooms, like mine, have the closet inside the bathroom. So that's what we're going to show right now. The bedrooms that have the sliding door closets in the actual bedrooms have bathrooms that are slightly larger. But if you have the closet inside the bathroom, your bathroom will be a little bit smaller, but your closet is actually quite larger. This is what my bathroom looks like. It's a pretty good size. You obviously have to bring all of your own stuff, shower curtain, towels, etc. Um, it has a decent amount of cabinet space and the bathrooms do have overhead lighting in them. There's one light in the ceiling, and then there's also another light above the mirror. And like I said, if your bathroom is a little smaller and you have a room like mine, you will have a walk-in closet. So this is what mine looks like. Um, there's actually a lot of space to hang things. There's a shelf going along the entire top of the closet, and it does come with one small drawer. This brown one that's on the bottom comes with the apartment when you move in. Um, I personally don't mind having a smaller bathroom. I really like having the walk-in closet because you can bring a lot of extra things for storage if you need. But I guess it just kind of depends on how many things you're planning on bringing with you. So that is the room tour. Um, I think I pretty much covered and showed everything. But I just thought it would be helpful to make this video because, like I said, when I was looking at housing, there wasn't really any videos like this or pictures. So I just thought it would be good for anyone who was curious.